Hi, this is Dr. A, and I'm bringing you a lesson in immunohematology. We are going to talk about ABH soluble antigens. Okay, so first, A, B, and H antigens are found in the membranes of red blood cells, endothelial cells, which are the lining cells of capillaries in your blood vessels. They're also found in platelets and lymphocytes, some of you white cells, and also in epithelial cells, which you have epithelial cells like everywhere. They're like lining everything, your skin, the inside of body cavities, etc. So if you are type A, you would have those A antigens on red cells, on lymphocytes, endothelial cells, epithelial cells. So um, there is also the possibility of having A, B, and H soluble antigens, and those would be found in all body secretions. Some of the examples would be saliva, urine, bile, milk, pleural fluid, amniotic fluid, etc. If it's a body fluid, you can pretty much detect a soluble antigen in there if the uh, person is a secretor. So the presence of the soluble an antigens is determined by the ABO gene, so uh, if you are uh, type A, you would have an A soluble antigen present, for example, uh, but also by the secretor genes, it's the SESE genes. And so 80% of the U.S. population are secretors, also meaning 20% of the population are not, um, and the gene they have inherited can either be the big S, little e, big S, little e, or the big S, little e, little s, little e. So either um, you know one dominant gene from each parent or a dominant gene from a parent and a recessive gene from a parent for the secretion of these um, soluble antigens. So the inheritance of that SE gene, that soluble, soluble gene, secretor gene, uh, codes for the transferase enzyme alpha 2 l fucosyl transferase. We've met this one in the ABO, the production of the ABO antigens, ABH antigens, um, where it modifies a type 1 precursor in the secretions to make the H substance in the secretions. Uh, so the precursor for um, the type 1 precursor is very similar to the precursor substance that is uh, used to put the antigens on top of red cells. Um, it's slightly different, so it does have, uh, it starts with a protein, and then it has an alpha acetylgalactosamine added, then a D galactose added, then an acetylglucosamine added here, then another D galactose, and then it's linked to a fucose. So um, the precursor set, the substance, the type 1 precursor, is this straight chain, this chain right here. And then when you add fucose to it, it becomes the H substance in the secretion. So this right here is the type 1 precursor. And then um, if a person is type A, uh, an alpha acetylgalactosamine would also be added to the H substance, and if they're a type B, another D galactose would be added to the H substance to make the soluble A substance or the soluble B substance. So they just take the H and modify it just like we do for the red cell antigens on the red cell membrane. Okay, so first we build the precursor um, uh, chain, then we make it into an H chain, and then we if it's type A, make it into an A chain. If it's type B, make it into a B chain. So um, what ABH substance can you expect to find in the saliva of secretors? So a group A, that is a secretor, will produce glycoproteins with the H and the A in their secretions. They'll have predominantly A, but they'll have some H. Group B, that is a secretor, will produce H and B soluble substances in their secretion. So again, they'll have predominantly B, but they'll have some H also. Group AB, that is a secretor, will produce glycoproteins with H, A, and B in their secretions. And again, they'll have more A and B than H, but they'll all be present. And then group O is a secretor that will only produce the substance H in their secretions. And then people who are non-secretors will have the little SE, little SE genotype, uh, would not have any of the soluble substance uh, in their saliva. So even if they're group A, there would just be nothing in the saliva. If they're AB or O, 
Uh, you would not find H, you would not find A or B in their secretions. So let's talk a little bit about these precursor chains just to keep it off straight. So um, both your ABH red cell antigens and your ABH soluble substances are made by the attachment of a sugar to an oligosaccharide chain, which is uh, the precursor chain. And uh, the type 1 precursor chain and type 3 precursor chains are found in body secretions, with uh, type 1 being the uh, most predominant. And then the type 2 precursor chain and type 4 are found in the red cell membrane with type 2, and that one being uh, the most commonly found, the most abundant. Um, and what makes it a type 1 or a type 2 or type 3 or whatever? So it's the difference between uh, how the sugars are linked in that oligosaccharide chain. So uh, it's the difference between a beta-1-3 linkage and a beta-1-4 linkage. And you're like, what does that mean? So like the top one is a beta-1-3. It means the carbon um, one of uh, one sugar is linked to the carbon three of the following sugar. And for a beta-1-4, it means a carbon one of one sugar is linked to the carbon four of one sugar. So it's just, it's not a difference in the sugars in the, in the chain. It's a difference in how they're joined together. Um, and so type 1 usually has beta 1, 3, and type 2 has beta 1, 4. Um, and so that what makes them, um, you know, slightly different and, you know, maybe a little different in how it appears in the three-dimensional structure. Um, but that's the main difference between those. And this is where they are found. So that wraps up my uh, quick little lesson on the ABH uh, secre secretors, and uh, I hope that was helpful for you.